just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like real witness until you smell the roses What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Sorry about that. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. You don't know history. So let me talk, have a real conversation about history and why it's important to know history. Because a lot of y'all don't know what y'all talking about and y'all really believe y'all do. You know, history sometimes like an iceberg. It's a little bit on top that they told you and there's a whole bunch at, at the bottom that you don't see and you don't pay attention to. You never ask. And because you don't know your history, you say and do dumb things and you don't realize you're being played by people. And then when you figure out, well, how did I go down this path? And it stems back that you don't know where it started from. It's because you don't even pay attention to yourself because you don't pay attention to history. So I've been on YouTube for a minute. There was a time where there's a story about a, a young lady who is Hispanic. She went to Spain. Like, I'm going to see my people in my homeland. And you know what they had to tell her in Spain? You just one, you, you from the colony? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not one of us. You just from the colony. And she was, oh, my God. I thought I was you. Didn't pay attention to history at all. You know, just, I, I believe I'm you and you're me. You know, you got people, um, how can I put this, who, do, do, you know, when it comes to the black and white thing, my family never owned slaves. Okay. Was your family ever a slave catcher? Was your, did your family ever work at a cotton mill or a sugar refinery? Or did, did, did your family steal somebody's invention and, and make it their own? And, or, or work for somebody who stole somebody's black invention and made it their own? And did your family, did, you know, Get get property because of Jim Crow and take it from a black family, or use being white to make sure this family couldn't live there, and you live there, or, or and they paid for it already. Do you know about that? Then it's good. But the Democrats, the Democrats, or the party of slavery, okay, and the Republicans was white, and they was on the slaves too. What are you talking about? What are you talking like? You don't know history. You know, you got people, you know, who, because they don't know history, and, and it's funny, now, you know, inflation, and the, inflation is going up, and these things are happening in the American economy. We've never seen anything like it. And if you listen, listen to the news, listen to the media, they'll tell you, man, it hasn't been like this since 1988. Like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. This happened before. And then when y'all talk about it, when y'all talk crazy about, you know, it's the elites. Well, let me ask you something. Are the elites old? Yeah, they're old and powerful. Okay. Are they running the same plays that people before them who were elite ran? To get the masses? To run the masses? To run the masses into the ground? Yeah, well, that's history, right? But, but with you, it's, the, it's, it's 2023. Okay. Uh, what does that have to do with today? Okay. All right. How am I going to get out of this situation? Well, if you knew your history, you probably you probably will find a remedy to the problem that you're facing right now. And you probably go, okay, if they're doing this now, either they're going to do this or this, because this is how they ended back then. But instead of doing that, y'all go, it's 2001, it doesn't matter. And, 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 and for all you sports fans, right, people who play sports, I'm going to tell you what, what, what not paying, paying no history is. If you play football, basketball, baseball, or wrestling, any kind of sport, right, it's like you being in the game and they ran the play and you know it's coming now because they're running the same play again. And you go, this is Five minutes into the game, that play that they ran is just like that. Doesn't matter. And they keep running it over and over and over again. And you go, I don't understand. How are we losing? They're doing the same thing. Well, if you know they're doing the same thing, why don't you do what it takes to stop it? No, because right then and there, I'm just going to stop and go, that was old. Stupid. It's stupid. But even when it, but yeah, the only way some of you guys know want to know history is when it, when you put it in a red pill package. Women are doing this. <gasps> She's not going to do that to me again. Ha ha! I got the red pill knowledge. Okay, so she's not going to do that to you again because now you're standing up for yourself because 
you paying attention to history and patterns. Okay, you see this? You see this happen in society? You see what's about to happen? <gasps> Why are we bringing that up? And this is why I say, you know, some of y'all just ain't that bright. And by the time you catch on, you might as well throw away everything, you know, at, that you know at the moment because you're going to be behind the eight ball. Because you, I don't get it. I know you don't get it. I know you don't get it. And the problem with you not getting it ain't that I, I, I don't, the problem is I don't really care if you don't get it. But don't approach me and I knowing you don't know anything you're talking about as if you do. Because if I got to give you reality, like man, somebody told somebody commented and told me that, you know, back in the day, slaves could get guns at their owner's permission. <laughs> Doesn't that make sense? Yeah, bro. That makes sense to a dummy. That's that's the equivalent of saying that inmates can get guns, you know, at, at the at the uh, correctional officers in, in the warden's permission. When you think that's gonna happen, you think they just gonna overthrow the jail, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, look, man, it's time to get these inmates done. What the? F but it's that mindset that people go. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of a story that this happened once. <laughs> See, this is why our history repeats itself, because people are too dumb to pay attention to history repeating itself. And then when, when people when, when when people separate, because you're supposed to know STEM, like I get it, it's supposed to make a living, and it helps you make a living in this society, I get it. But even people in STEM got to know history, like think about it, a doctor has to know what happened before, like yo. Okay, history showed us we need, we can do this, 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 and this, and, and solve this problem. Your, when you go to your doctor's office, they don't go, huh, it's 2023. I'm not going to do that. That's that, what, what we've approved or improved on for centuries. Just tell us a new day. When you go engineering, the people don't go, huh, it's 2023. We're not going to build this building in that way that has, has been proven to work for centuries. It's a new day. They don't do that with science. We're not gonna make this 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 product this way. That has been proven to work because it's 2023. <laughs> but y'all, on the other hand, fine. And when life smacks you in the face, please just shut up. You deserve it. But I'm done. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch up on the next one. Peace.